Hi again, Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I want to do something a little bit different with this video. You may have heard me say before that I believe that web design is both an art and a science. There's a technical side and there's an artistic side. Now, I don't normally get too philosophical about this, but in this video I want to cover something I don't normally talk about. And that is a little bit of the web design planning process. A lot of the mistakes that I see in web design, and, and especially when people are new at it, is the lack of planning that goes into building their websites. And I want to show you a couple of tricks that I've used to kind of prepare for, before I actually build anything, and some of the things that I use, and a new thing that's in 90 Second Website Builder's latest version that will help make this process even easier and better. When I build a website, I usually start with some kind of a color scheme or a color theme, we might call it. I'm showing you right now an old website that I built quite some time ago and just as a demo for templates and for showing you these videos. And so one of the things that you'll notice in this website, I've got a logo that I designed and I chose some colors for that logo, kind of a green, yellow, red, and a black. And when I look at a website like this, I often build off of the logo. I often design the logo first, and then I start with those colors. And then I'll do what, I'll create what I call a palette of colors, a color scheme or color theme palette. And I use that object right here. I've made one. It's just an image that I made that contains the, in this case, five major colors that I want to uh, refer to as I'm building this website. Now, it doesn't mean I'm not allowed to use any other colors whatsoever. It's just that these are the ones I want to be dominant and to use for different things like accents and for backgrounds and whatnot. So what I'll do is I'll make an image like this and I would just drag it around with me as I'm designing. So when I go to make a button like this one right here, I want to make sure I use the same yellow that I chose in my little uh, palette. So this yellow is actually the yellow that's in this button and so on. And the same goes for a text I might be using. So if you scroll down into this uh, design, you can see I've got some text down here. Well, that, that, it's not just any green, it's the green that's in the palette. It's the same green that's in the footer. Um, this red is not just any red, it's the red that comes from the red in the palette, which is the red in my little apple here. So my point is, there's, a, there's some thought that's put into the color scheme of a website. And it really does help coordinate. It's much like if you're doing interior design, interior decorating, you want the cabinets and the hard surfaces and the paint on the walls to coordinate and to kind of match and not clash. And a lot of people miss that when they are especially new at building uh, websites. Let me show you my main website, which I'm sure you've seen because it's 90secondwebsitebuilder.com. And I've done this a lot in this website. You can see, and you may have even noticed before, let me bring it over here, that I have a very distinct um, color scheme that I stick to. And in fact, let me show you the palette that I created for that. I've got that over here off screen. So I created a palette that looks like this. And what I'll do is I'll, um, as I'm designing, again, I'll refer back to this as a reference point. So in this case, again, I chose five colors in my case. It, there's no magic number. I just kind of stuck with that. But you can see I have a very specific kind of blue and orange, kind of this dark charcoal and a, another blue um, and then a green for a highlight. And you'll notice throughout my website, these colors appear. This is the blue that's in my logo. This is the orange that is in this button. And in fact, even as I was creating this uh, carousel effect, I chose one of the images. It's about to come up here in a second. I chose one of the background images on purpose because it had this orange coffee cup in it. And I liked the fact that that coordinates with the overall color of my website because it's one of my colors. And so that's one of the ways I make decisions. This, by the way, this text, Next is not black. It's the same charcoal as this bar up here. And, um, but uh, you know, it's not hard and fast. So uh, sometimes I veer away from that and sometimes I don't. So for example, if you look at these um, icons right here, these font awesome icons, these are more of this dark blue right here. Sometimes I'll, I will use this one, but just as a contrast, I had another blue that I want to use. When you hover over it, it's just some random gray. It's actually not part of my color scheme. I could have made the, the hover on that be a green or an orange or something. So it's not a hard and fast rule, but you get the idea that you generally want to stick to a color scheme. Let's go down and see. It. You'll notice that the sign up buttons, these are this charcoal gray. When you hover over them, I make them the orange because I want things to, again, coordinate. You see that orange again in some of my highlight text. The uh, temptation is when you want to highlight text is to make it bright, bold red. 
But if that's not part of your scheme, it can kind of look funny. And it also gets overused. So um, you can see these colors appearing in different places on my website. Let me move that palette. Let me take you to uh, this page where it really shows. Again, you can see I've got the orange in my text. I've got it in my buttons. It's actually part of my cover design, which I did on purpose. That wasn't an accident. I planned all of this out, and that's my point. These cards are using the blue that's in the logo, and there you see these things again. I was going to show you one other thing. Oh, I think on my videos page, yeah, there's the green. One of the few times that I use the green that's in this palette here is right there. There's the orange again, and there's that same um, blue from the logo. So I think I'm making the, the point clear that there is a consistency when you start with some kind of a scheme, some kind of a theme. And what I used to do is I used to go to a website that created schemes or themes for uh, websites. And it was this one right here, uh, coolors.co. You can go there if you want to, C-O-O-L-O-R-S. That's one way to do it if you don't have any ideas. And there's some color palettes that they'll generate for you that just kind of give you an idea if there's one that feels good to you or looks right for what you're doing that's a trick you can use and then you know take a screenshot of this or I think you can export it yeah save it somehow and you can use it and work it around with your web design process when you don't do this you can end up with something that looks a little bit like this where we have lots of different colors happening and of course a lot of movement which is awkward and just stuff that's you know this is this wasn't planned this is a website where everything's just kind of sitting out floating on the page but you'll see the mix of colors here is just not working and sadly i see a lot of this happening we're kind of you know i realize this is an artistic expression but this is hard to look at and so planning your website with a color scheme and a color theme is a great idea now all that to say that takes me to a feature i want to show you in 90 second website builder you may not know about and I'm going to move the camera here so that we can see the ribbon menu and go up to the page menu. And all the way over here, you can see that there's something that's called theme colors. And we'll click on it. And you can see we've got some predetermined themes. You can choose any one of these, use them if you want to. But probably what you really want to do is create one of your own, like I did down here. I clicked custom colors and I made a theme of my own. Let's take a look at how I did that. I clicked on custom colors and it brings up a box that looks like this. I can name it here, whatever I want to name it, and choose the colors that you want to choose. Now, every time you pick a color in 90 Second Website Builder, you're going to see this certain palette that comes up. So if I was to go like this, you can see I have all these colors to choose from. Obviously, there's you know millions of colors, but why are these the ones that are coming up? Well, the reason these are the colors that are coming up for me is because that is the theme I've assigned to this page with the theme color tool. If I change that, then anything that that has a color associated with it, when I click on this color picker, that's what it's called, the color picker tool, it's going to bring up the colors of my theme, and they're always going to be across the top row here. Notice that below are slight variations of these colors, which I can veer off into and still be kind of part of the same color coordinated uh, theme, which is great. Mine happened to show these colors. Yours going to show a different set of colors because you're not using my theme necessarily. I'll show you. If we were to change the theme for this page to something like, uh, let's see, this, this blue. And then we go to look at the colors that come up and let's look at it something, let's look at something that actually um, has a color associated with it. So like this is a layer, I'm gonna double click on it. We're gonna go to style. Right now it's a solid black, but when I go like this, look at the color theme that came up. It's that set of blue and aqua colors that I chose. So if that was the theme I was using, then every object that has a color picker associated with it, I'm going to be able to very quickly go to whatever my theme is. I'm going to do that again in case it wasn't clear. So let's pick a new color here and uh, we'll go down to this violet too. You can see these are purpley down here. And so what we've done is we've now assigned that scheme, this theme, I keep saying scheme and theme interchangeably, sorry, that theme to this page. So anytime I go to the object properties of something that has a color, like a layer, which I'll do here, and we go to that style, you can see that when I go to use the color picker, there are the violet purples that we assigned. That doesn't mean I have to choose them. It's just a convenient way for me to stick to the same color coordination that I want to use for a page. So 
that's an easy tool to use. It's an easy tool to understand. What I really wanted to tell you is how important it is to kind of plan your website out. And a good way to start is to kind of know what your color palette should be, the colors you're going to stick to. Now, one more little philosophical thing. One of the one of the ways that I choose colors is I kind of like to have something in my color theme. And I usually pick five colors. It can be more. Like I said, that coordinate with a, a logo or whatever. But I also like to have at least something in there that's bright that I'm going to highlight with, like maybe a red. I also like to have a couple of things that maybe are going to be sort of uh, dull, like maybe these two greens, something I could use for text, a light version and a dark version so that I'm still, you know, working with the same color. And then something, another highlight that's maybe the opposite of the um, red, which would be a yellow, which I got from the logo. So there's a little bit of thought in that. When I did it with the 90 Second Website Builders website, the thought behind this pattern of colors was that same thing. I wanted to have, you know, obviously the blue from the logo, but I also wanted something that I could highlight with, something that would jump out. So that's that's why I have the orange. And then the charcoal is just kind of a good background blandish color, something that's good for menus and and you know, background uh, for layers. Another version of the blue because this is kind of a bright blue and I know I knew that I'd not want everything blue to be a bright blue, so I want kind of a a muddier one. And so that's my rationale. But if you don't think like I do, and that might be a weird way to think, use the color themes that are built into the software or go to one of those websites that are for web designers to choose themes and have fun. And the idea is to stick to something that coordinates your website. It's just a great way to build your websites to plan ahead as you're building your beautiful websites with 90 Second Website Builder.